Ladies and gentlemen, a warm, warm welcome to the F1 Driver Road to Glory Career Season 2 in the 2024 season with the 2024 card. We have won the Bahrain Grand Prix and we are now in P1 with 8 points of a gap. If I can count, yes I can. It is 8 points to Sergio Perez, who's currently P2 with Max Verstappen behind. But still, do not count out Leclerc and Russell, who are very quick as well. They're currently P5 and P7, but I'm telling you... They will be rapid. And our teammate as well, who got a flipping engine blowout in the first race. Today we're doing two races, Saudi Arabia and Australia. So keep yourselves ready, warm and relaxed. Because it's time right now to go for the qualifying session. And then right after the race of 25 laps. Tell your cat, tell your dog, tell your future grandkids, tell your grandma. Because the grandmas love me. That we are going to get started with the qualifying session, which will be one session. Two laps most likely to see if we can get pole position for the race. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, Hades, as well as Akuz, Billy, boom! Uh, high five to you, what's up, welcome in. My grandma says you're a cutie. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, here we go then. Tombina, who is my sister. For those of you who do not know what she looks like, let me show you. This is Tombina. Here we go. Doesn't she look amazing? We have the same jeans, you can see. It's basically me with hair. Uh, I mean, I have hair, but long hair. Okay, well, let's go ahead. And uh, get ourselves into a, a lap with a little bit less fuel. You can see right here, we've got 10 kilos in the car. We're going to put about five because we don't need more fuel than that. Actually, we're going to put six just to make sure we can get back into the pit. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get ourselves out on track right here with that Saudi Arabia setup. Everyone ready? And let's get that whole okay, position. Let's go. Let me know in the chat, which position do you think we are going to get right here in qualifying. I'm expecting... Last last race we got the P5 in qualifying. I'm expecting... Uh, I mean, I would I would love to get a top 3 here. Top 3 would be amazing. Alright. Yep, the same jeans. The same jeans. Alright, here we go then. Here we go. As we close in to the guard in front, we need to make sure we find a good spot on the track. Because if we don't... We might get impeded during our lap, and that's exactly what we don't want. We had, uh, had it happen to us a few times already in our career. And when that happens, I lose my mind. That is when the bomb arises. <laughs> we don't want that, okay? We don't want that. You don't want that. It's going to get nasty. All right, there we go. Where did you finish last race? Um, we were P1 in the Boring Grand Prix. This is the first race of the day. We're doing Saudi Arabia and Australia. Of course, Australia, the real-life race that is happening this week. We're also doing Australia tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit that follow button because tomorrow we do the Australian Grand Prix preview race where we look forward and we do the full Australia Grand Prix. And we even uh, talk about the latest news uh, surrounding real-life F1 season, which is going to be awesome. All right, here we go. Here we go then. We find a good spot at the moment between us and the car behind. We've got a McLaren behind who is closing in rapidly. I think I'm going to try and see if we can go a little bit more space here as the car in front just about goes through the corner here. Let's go and put open the hot lap mode and let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the qualifying session of the first race right here. DRS opens up. Let's go and see if we can get pole position. Boom! All right, here we go. Come on. Into turn one. We break as late as possible. We go back at the third gear. See what we can do. On the power. A little bit slow here. But I think it's still still quick enough. We try and break before the 50 meter board. In the fifth gear. Keep the car rolling. Don't hit the walls on the right hand side. It's super close with the walls at the moment. Especially around this track. It's a super quick track. As we keep the car rolling. Where are we going to be? When we cross the line right here, which is going to be now, we will see if we're purple. We're not purple. We're breaking around the 50 meter board right here. Keeping the car rolling all the way as close as possible to the walls. It's looking good so far. As we break in time, keep the car very close so we can get a good exit. And that is exactly what we're doing right now. Come on, come on, come on. Charles Leclerc with the fastest left hand with a 125.8. Bro, that's rapid. That is rapid. Purple though in the middle sector as he almost touched the wall on the inside, but we just about stay away from it. That could be a good lap here. The second sector was way better than the first sector. Are we going to be close? 
Are we gonna be close to the lead lap of Charles Leclerc, our new rival? We picked him as a rival earlier on, as now we are gonna be on the main straight. DRS opens up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a 25.6, no, a 26.0. Two okay, tenths behind of Charles Leclerc with Lando Norris now right behind of us as well or right in front of us a P2 we need about three tenths here to get pole position if we want but I think there's time to be gained but the first lap is already a decent one all right we're gonna let Lando Norris by then we're gonna go get back into the pits but there's work to do because we're not yet in a decent position I mean P5 is still a good position but I think there's gonna be more drivers we are going to be closer than that. Box this lap. Box this lap. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap boom, boom, please. boom. Into the pits we go then, ladies and gents. How come it says Q1 with it actually being a short qualifying? Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess Q1. It's the first qualifying session, but also the last one. I don't know. They should probably do SQ. You're right. Because they do... I think they do one shot. So OS. They put OS for one shot. They should probably put SQ, short qualifying on the top left for short qualifying but yeah they don't do that so a lot of people get mistaken always in the sh uh, during the shows that they say oh don't win is q2 no nope, there's no q2 at least not today all right we're gonna go back into the pits though we should have enough fuel yeah for 0.42 that's gonna be just about enough to get back into the pits i think the fuel burn is a bit high over here so we need to be careful when we get into the race strategy to not put or to put enough fuel, otherwise we are gonna have a problemo in the race. P7 we are then, after most of the drivers do their laps. I can't believe though that... Ooh, watch out, we get a little bit of a warning, speeding in the pit lane. If we do that in the race, it's a 5 second penalty. <laughs> it's gonna happen, isn't it? It always happens, it always happens. It always happens. Feels fine around Saudi Arabia. It is okay. What are you doing this weekend, Tom? Some racing. Uh, Saturday, I will be doing uh, the Sebring uh, tw uh, 12 hour, which is pretty cool. So basically, it's a uh, it's an endurance race, and we're doing it with six orders. Um, and I, I have a stint of two hours, but it's at Sebring, and it is a track that I drove in real life with a Formula Four car, but we are doing it with an LMP2 car. Yeah, I'm driving it for two hours straight, guys. Uh, and I need to make sure I keep the car alive. Otherwise, everybody after me doesn't have a car anymore. So it's going to be very, very... It's like one of the big events on iRacing every single year. 12 hours of Sebring. It's a big event. So, um, yeah, that's going to be really cool. And we're part of it. Uh, we will be putting one car in with about six, seven drivers. Uh, Infratic is there as well. So we have Alice Gillen, Ben, Tim at Mardik, um, uh, Hayden Gallis, Raisin, uh, Infratic... Uh, GB and that's it I believe but I'm doing two hours in one go that's about four stints I believe I need to pit four times so that will be pretty cool that will be pretty cool okay let's see what we can do then with another lap we are currently P7 four tenths we need to gain oh bro look at that we're, we're a bit slow in the first sector we're about two tenths slower Pierre Gasly oh my goodness are you serious he's seven hey that's quicker what are you doing? How is it possible? Eight tenths quicker than us at the moment. He has done a 125.303. And he's purple everywhere. What do you think, ladies and gents? Are we going to be able to beat that? Max Verstappen in the meantime gets P9. Max Verstappen gets P9. Uh, Charles Leclerc P3. And George Russell, once again, quick. But he is nowhere close to Pierre Gasly. So we should have a car. That is going to be able to rival Pierre Gasly here. But let's accelerate the time. And let's go all the way to the end to go out on track with one final lap. One final lap. Let's quickly put the fuel down. Right. Right here. Five kilos instead of six. That's good. And then we will accelerate the time to about uh, two and a half minutes. And then we're going to go out on track for one final time to see if we can grab pull. Or even just to get into the top three. Because Pierre Gasly looks like a flipping robot out here. A flipping robot. Uh, Tobias! Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Uh, the best decision you've made here today, Tobias. Well, well done. And uh, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. What's up? Let's drive right, out. Here we ready. go. Let's get it out there. And let's uh, send it hard in this final lap. Of 
the qualifying session in Saudi Arabia, baby. I didn't know that you're Dutch. I am Dutch indeed, yes. But I like to keep everything in the chat in English because we've got people from all over the world. I would love to know actually in the chat right now, where are you watching from? And then you'll see we have the most international chat in the entirety of the world. Look at this. Look at this. I see Finland. I see Australia, Sweden, India, Belgium, Portugal, Scotland, UK, Germany, USA, Slovakia, Netherlands, Brazil, Hungary, Berlin, Germany, Belgium, Canada, UK, Espana, Norway, Washington DC, Wisconsin, Malaysia, Germany, Finland, New Zealand, Scotland, oh my god, everywhere, Bahrain, ladies and gents, wherever you're watching from, whatever you look like, whatever you smell like, uh, rotten fish, it's great to have you here, you have to take a shower though, come on. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. As we warm up those puppies, warm up those tires to get ready for, hopefully, the quickest lap we've done so far. We need to gain eight tenths. Eight tenths of a second to get pole position from our teammate. Will we be able to do that? Or will Pierre Gasly go even quicker? Oh la la, oh la la. It's crazy. Where are you from? I am from the Netherlands myself, Joris. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves started then with the last and final race right here, right uh, now. Not race, but lap. Here we go then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final qualifying lap. Let's go, ladies. Here we go. Into third gear. We're currently in the green. Gaining time, gaining time. Oh, let me go then. Just about... Just about gaining time. Come on now. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how much time that gains us. Two and a half tenths. Come on. Let's gain more. Oh my god. Five tenths up at the moment. We need to gain though because we're only in P10 at the moment. Purple. Close to the walls there. Very close to the walls. On the power straight away. Five tens up at the moment. We're gaining a little bit of time on the exit. Pierre Gasly goes quicker with a 125.3. That's only a minor gain though. Six tens up right now. Almost seven. We might be able to do it if we gain a really good amount here. A really good amount in the last and final turn. Come on now. Come on now, please. Seven tenths. Ah, we gain a bit of time hitting the wall there. I don't think it's going to be enough. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go then. Over the line to get a 25.3 as well. But is it going to be enough? No. It is going to be P. Two, P2 in the qualifying session, Dan, right behind our teammate, Pierre Gasly. Whew. You know what, ladies and gents, I think we can be happy right here with this result. Because, I mean, I don't think I could have really gotten a lot more out of that. I mean, I guess if we didn't hit the wall there in the last turn, just like Max Verstappen did, remember, remember in real life, I think it would have been enough to, you know, get that pole position, but... It doesn't matter. We're starting the front row with our teammate P1, P2, front row lookout, kaboom. Let's get ourselves We're into the race and race, hope we that begin, we can get that win as well against Pierre Gasly, who, of race. course, retired Gasly, in the George first Russell. race of the season. The question is, will we now retire? <laughs> will we now have the bad luck? We'll that is the question. But the George Russell gets P3, sure then Sainz, then Leclerc, then Sergio Perez, then Verstappen. And, uh, yeah, of course, the championship leader Perez in P6 here. Ooh la That's not what we like to hear. That is not what we like to hear. Or at least I like to hear it. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, what up, Hawks fan? I'm doing great. I hope you're doing good yourself as well. But a warm welcome in for those of you who are joining in just now to the qualifying session. It has just ended. And we're getting ourselves into the race. So tell your cat, tell your dog, tell everybody you know that we are about to go racing. And not just for this once. We are going to race again right after this in Australia as well. But let's get started. And to refresh your memory at the moment, 26 points we have. We are the leaders of the championship. And Sergio Perez is in P2. In P2. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. 
Why is your character a female? Because this is my sister who's driving. Look, you can see it right here. Tombina Brower, right? My sister. She has the same genes as me. She looks almost the same, but then with long hair. And maybe even more sexy than me, okay? I know, I know. It's almost impossible, but it is possible. Uh, MGE Teddy, as well as uh, Joa, uh, Joe Chia. What's up? Thank you for the follow as well. Boom! Legendary. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, this is F123 with a 2024 livery mod. Of course, the uh, you can use already if you um, officially you can use the 2024 liveries if you have pre-ordered F124, right? Uh, but that is only possible in time trial. So if you want to use it in career, then yeah, the only possibility is to uh, to, to use a livery mod, which is what, what I'm using right now. Uh, today on the shores of the Red it is only the for Mountains. visual so appearance. I don't do anything else with the game, uh, only for that in our career. I always recommend Iran. waiting for the 2024 game or whatever game is next. But uh, if you so really can't wait, the then there's always map, uh, the then there's always that. Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners. All right, we go. What does waka 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 mean? Oh. It means welcome, welcome, welcome. But I talk too quick, okay? So it sounds like waka waka waka. Why do you not read the YouTube? I do read the YouTube. What do you mean? Oh my goodness! I read everything. I've got five chats open, guys. Five chats. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday. All right, here we go. Pierre Gasly position. is on pole position right here. Tom Bina Brower in P2. Looking absolutely happy Russell. that she is on the front row once again. Russell in P3, then Sainz and Leclerc, then Perez and Verstappen. We've got a lot of quick drivers right behind of us. Uh, a lot of quick uh, drivers who is, are going to try, obviously, and uh, overtake us in the first few laps. The question is, which tires are we going to use? Let's see. But, um, yeah, I think we should probably... Ooh la la, Elbow with a penalty. As well as Sunoda. Interesting in that RB. Interesting. All right, here we go then. Saudi Arabia. Let's see what we can do with the um, Aston Martin safety car this track. It also alternates, remember, between, okay, <coughs> between every single race which safety car is going to be used. Finally, so if we have a good getaway here, we can straight away take P1. Today, so that should be hopefully what happens, but let's see. All right, so we got two strategies right here. Either it's soft medium or medium hard. What do you reckon? Because if we do medium hard, we can still uh, decide to go into the softs at the end. If we do softs medium, oh la la, we cannot decide anything. I think medium hard might be the better one, right? Let me know what you think. I mean, we could also do medium so well, I think medium hard is the best one because soft medium, we won't really have the tires for that. Or at least the tire wear. I think it's going to be too much tire wear to keep those tires uh, in one piece all the way towards the end. But let me know what you think. You think medium hard as well? It's up to you. You guys are the engineers. <clears throat> soft, soft medium. Wait, let me, let me see right here. Let me see, let me see. Soft medium... That is about 12 seconds slower. If we do a two stop, it's about two seconds slower, guys. Oi, 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 oi. That is about two seconds slower. You guys think medium? Yeah, okay, we'll do it. Medium hard, ladies and gents. That is what we're going to be doing right here, right now. A warm, warm welcome to the show of today. Remember, we don't create streams, we create shows. And you've just joined in right on time. Because we are in P2, behind of our uh, teammate okay, Pierre so Gasly, who retired last race. Look at that beautiful Alpine, who is in a turn. <laughs> okay, we're fine, I think. I don't think we hit him. Oh my goodness! Look at that beautiful Alpine as we swipe him. Jesus. Okay, we're fine. We are absolutely fine as we are on the medium tire. The thing is, what we're not going to be fine about is that we will probably have a little bit of a slower start. A little bit of a slower start compared to everybody else due to the fact that we are on the mediums or uh, harder tires than the rest. Uh, and they will be having a good start most likely. Whereas we will be having to try and look in the mirrors with Russell and Sainz both being on the softs. That's going to be interesting. Don't you usually do 100% races? No, yesterday we did 100% race. 
because it's the start of the season. But normally we do, um, or at least at least for this career, uh, it changes every single time, depending on how I feel. But <laughs> but uh, for, for this career, we do 50% races, two 50% races each episode. And then if there's a special location like Monaco, the start of the season or the end of the season, we do a 100% race. But uh, most of the times it's uh, two 50% races. Double the races, double the... Spins. No, 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 no. Double the fun. Exactly. Just like that. No. Yeah, I knew it. I knew you guys were going to say spins. No. Nope. I was I was ahead of you. Double the wins. Yeah, maybe double the wins. Who was world champion last year? It was uh, George Russell, who is right behind of us right now. He was the champion in the last season. So currently the reigning champion, Will Russell, be able to fight for the championship once again? That is the question. Uh, Squidge Meister as well as Goink. Uh, Mitch KHD as well as Stephacious. What's up? Welcome to the family. If you haven't yet hit that follow button and you're enjoying yourself right now, make sure you do so. Because if you don't do it, you'll be back in a year's time and you'll tell me, Tom, I missed out on a year of fun. And then I'll tell you, I told you so. And you'll tell me, yes, I should have listened to you when you told me so a year ago yep it's happened in the past it will happen again don't be that guy or girl we will come back in a year's time here we go okay incredible parking there. let's That's do it then That's gonna give you the edge if you in the 2024 the season the season two can keep we the lights, keep the our championship the lead as, as, as everybody forms sport. up right now Ladies and gentlemen, the lights go on for the start of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix then. Will Russell overtake us on those tires? Did he try and get a good start right there on the mediums? It's going to be tough though. Trying to get a good attraction zone in the third one. we got signs on the outside who's going to leave us a little bit of space. But it's three wide then going into third one. We lose two positions with Russell now in P3 as well. We're stepping on the soaps. The medium tires having a really, really tough time at the moment to keep it in one piece. We see Leclerc also losing a lot of position right there. We have to stay close though at the start and then later on once these tires are fully warmed up we should have a very good opportunity to come back hard but at the moment look at that we're losing a lot of time and Verstappen literally breathing down our neck trying to go for the overtake you know what Verstappen I'll let you by because if I don't I'm gonna be losing a lot a lot of time right here Leclerc also trying to go for the move he thinks he's quicker but oh my goodness they're rapid right now they're flipping rapid as we're into fourth gear at the moment, we are going to try and stay close to the car of Max Verstappen. Tom's mini-me. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. But what a bad start. I mean, I don't think it was a bad start because we are the leading medium tire runner right now. But I feel like we are getting eaten up at the moment. We're absolutely getting eaten up at the moment. Jesus. All right, come on now. Indeed, let's focus on the race. With Russell trying to go for the move on the car in front, I feel like we are starting to get a little bit more tire temperature in this in this car. Getting a little bit more speed. We might even be able to go for the overtake on Verstappen here. Into the Stop. overstepping. He defends the inside. We try to go all the way around. Try to break as late as possible. Leave him a little bit of space. But this time around, we have the inside. Should be a better traction zone here then. And yes, it is. But Verstappen is still there. He is still there with a better straight line speed. We're going to try and outbreak him though. On the outside, which is going to lose a little bit of time. Russell still fighting for the P2. But we're back into P4 on those medium tires. No DRS now though. Come on now. Tom. I don't think it's was smart to go for the move at the moment. I don't think it was smart to go for the move at the moment. Russell trying desperately to get by all of signs. But it ain't working. At least not yet. In the meantime, Gasly was able to drive away. You let him pass and then you, let, you overtake him again. I know. But I feel like we were, we were losing too much time, guys. I feel like we were losing too much time. We're using a little bit of the battery. Closing in now to both Russell and Sainz. If they don't, if they keep battering. Which they will. We are going to lose even more time. Come on, guys. Hurry up. I'm going to get into the slipstream right now then. All of Sainz. Might even want to go for the move here as well. Which I will. Yep, I will. Because we need to close into the car of Pierre Gasly. And that is two positions gained in one turn. As they kept squabbling. Come on now. 1.9 seconds. Let's utilize the battery. The longer we go, the better we become. And now, boom! We are the quickest driver. Over two tenths quicker than Pierre Gasly at the moment. Okay, we've got the pace. Is mechanical failures off? No, it's on. 
It is absolutely on. Last season, the championship was decided because we got two mechanical failures in the last two races of the season. And if you haven't yet seen that, then uh, I recommend you to watch it back because it was horrible. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. 1.5 seconds now to Pierre Gasly and we have absolutely gapped Carl Sainz who is currently in P2. We need to close in to Pierre Gasly. But Carl Sainz, 1.3 seconds at the moment. Oi, oi, oi. We're rapid here. We need a little bit of time to get up to speed, which is normally what we do, right? First lap for some reason against um, uh, softer tires. I mean, it makes sense. They're on softer tires. They're going to have way more grip at the start. But when we get some heat in the tires, oh, yeah, yeah, we are rapid. All right, I'm trying to get the DRS here. Yep, there we go. I think we got the DRS for the next straight. We don't have a lot of battery available anymore. We should have the DRS going open here. And that means, ladies and gents, we're back in the fight for the win here in Saudi Arabia. Oh my goodness, watch out. Almost losing the car there into the wall. But yeah, here we go. The RS opens up and that should be us closing in here to Pierre Gasly. Yeah, we need to save the battery, but this was crucial. And now, fastest of anybody on track, 129.0 in this lap. Oi, 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 oi. It's getting serious now, ladies and gents. Banana man. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. This is yours to win, Tom. I will try my best. What AI are you driving against? We're driving against 105 today in both Australia and Saudi Arabia because these are one of the toughest tracks on the calendar in terms of the AI as well, uh, Saudi Arabia. Last year it was super easy, but this year it is uh, they, they, they changed the AI behavior around here as well as uh, around Australia. So it's 105 for today in both Australia and Saudi Arabia. You saw how quick Gasly was in qualifying and how perfect almost my lap was. I don't think I could have beaten him even with the perfect lap. All right, here we go now. Five tenths of a second, Verstappen though in the meantime, closing it as well. He's overtaking a lot of the drivers. Verstappen now into P3. He's overtaking both Russell and Sainz. And now he's there, closing in that gap, knowing that he wants to battle for the championship as well. I think we need to go and make a move soon on Gasly. Multi-69, multi-69. I think I'm the quicker driver. Can I go by? Hello, anybody home? Okay, don't react then. As we try and go for the move here on Pierre Gasly. My team is ignoring me at the moment. We try and go for the move now then with the DRS open up as well. Gasly does not have DRS obviously. So we are going to have way more straight line speed going into turn one. Will we be able to draw a break in time? No, because it's going to be... Oh my goodness, Pierre Gasly, who completely sends it and parts it on the apex, but with the switchback, we should have a better traction zone, and that is going to mean we are back in P1 then. I mean, back not yet, because we haven't been here yet. For the first time in this race, we get P1. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, ladies and gents, I would love to know from you, actually, when do you think those soft tires will start pitting? What do you think? Will they start pitting anytime soon? Because, I mean, it's lap 5 already, remember? It's going very, very quick at the moment. Very, very quick. In the meantime, a warm, warm welcome for those of you joining in at the moment to the Alpine F1 driver Road to Glory career. My name is Tom. People also call me The Bomb. The reason for that? Well, there's a few. But one of them is because I'm sexy. Ask anybody in the chat. They will say, yep, that is correct. But here we go then, we are now the lead driver, which means we're going to be, uh, you know, a bit under uh, in danger here. We're a bit in danger because we've got Gasly as well as Russell right behind. Gasly tries to go, oh, what the flip are you doing? Goes for the move on the inside right here. We have to go and concede the position as Gasly had way more straight line speed here. Russell even, or was it Verstappen? I don't know, it's absolute chaos at the moment. Russell goes for the move. We attempt to go back at Gasly then with a little bit of the DRS as he goes and defends the inside. Well, we are going to have to go down the inside as well. We break in time, make sure we leave a little bit of space for him as we try and go all the way around the outside of the car of Pierre Gasly with a better traction zone that should be the position done and we're back in P1. Oh my goodness, and everybody indeed has now caught up in this battle. And that is why, ladies and gents, I don't think a two-stop would have worked for any reason like i don't think we could have made a two-stop work at any point in time in this race because the drs is so strong around here the pack just stays close and close and close 
Uh, Gaia Bro, uh, thank you for the follow as well. But stop, I'm going to the families. We have to go defensive on the inside now, which is going to give us a worse exit. On to the next trade that might go and give Gasly an opportunity. No, it doesn't, because I think he actually had a little bit of a momento there with the car, losing it all over the place. Come on now. As we try and utilize a bit of the battery, Gasly should have the DRS opening up now, which is going to make him get closer and closer and closer. Look at that, he's getting closer. He is getting closer. <clears throat> Once again, using the DRS, trying to stay in front. Oh la la, Gasly closes in. We have to go a little bit wide. We're got trying to go for the move here. He's way more, he has got way more grip still on those soft tires. Now then. As he closes in with the DRS once again, we use all the battery. I'm not going to use too much, but he, he, because he's going to have to go for a move here. Or he's going to go for a move here. We saw it happening from a mile away. And he is back into P1 at the moment, ladies and gents. Gasly back in P1. Oi, 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 oi. 1-2 at the moment for Alpine. And of course, as we've upgraded the car a lot in Season 1, we are now one of the quickest cars on the grid. With Gasly getting pole, us getting P2. We've got to win this race, don't we? Come on, man. I mean, the thing is, we're still super close in terms of performance compared to Russell, compared to Verstappen, compared to the Ferraris as well. So anybody here can win this race as long as they have a good strategy, as long as they have a good tactic, right? That's very important. Oi, oi, oi. In the meantime, if you're enjoying yourself, now is the time to hit that follow button. The pit stop should be coming up very, very soon as well. And we need to start making decisions because at the moment, Pit stop information, pit stop information. Five laps. laps time. Five, five laps. laps, ladies and gents. And remember, this is not the only race we're doing today. We're also doing Australia, which is round three of our uh, season here. As we, I don't know what to do here. I don't want to, I don't want to even go for the move, but Gasly leaves his bike. He pulls up to the left hand side, knowing he's going to have DRS for the next trade. So that's very smart of him. Because he's probably going to get us back now. We get a way better traction zone, though, compared to Gasly. And there's no way he's going to go for the move on us. No, he might even be overtaken by George Russell, who's just about lurking behind of him. And we remain in P1 then for the moment, as Russell and Gasly are side by side right here. But Gasly remains in P2. My goodness. Oh, my God. The battles are insane. The battles are insane. As we have now gotten one second, we're going to try and drive away from them. Oh, my goodness. As we get stuck over the curb, we do a Tony Hawk on the curb. And now Gasly is going to have a really, really quick exit here, trying to go for the move. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's only inside. We need to leave a little bit of space here. Trying to get a better traction around the outside, which we do for the moment. Still side by side with the car, Pierre Gasly. Bro, this season has been insane. We literally, I remember last race yesterday, we, we were side by side almost the whole race. Once again, we don't have the pace to drive away here. And there's side by side battles all the way once again, with Russell now trying to go for an attempt as well. We try and remain on the inside as Gasly goes wide. Gasly goes wide. Oh my goodness. He almost shouted in the wall like uh, Lance Stroll did in the real life Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. We try and remain in the middle of the track. As now Russell's closing in, Verstappen's closing in. Gasly remaining behind, trying to be smart, trying to get the DRS. And I think we have the DRS. Yes! We have the DRS! Wait, are they going in the pits? No, they are not. Not yet, guys. Not yet. Gasly will stay out for the moment. I think at this point in time, though, the medium should be quicker than the softs. These guys will punch you off soon. Yeah, that could be happening very, very soon, guys. <laughs> That should be happening very, very soon. Yeah, they're starting to degrade a little bit. At the moment, our tires are 36%, so we are also past 25%, which is kind of the cutoff point to the point where they are very quick, you know? Now they're just normal tires. Um, but the soft tires definitely have about 50 to 60%, which is when they start getting slower again. As now, Russell goes for the move on the car of Gasly. As Gasly had a bit of a moment there on the exit, Russell now takes up into P2. And that, of course, is the current reigning champion of our career. 
Russell knows he has the pace to overtake us as well. He's going to try and do it soon. We're going to utilize a little bit about the battery here. And we are going to pit in. Pit stop information. Pit stop information. All right, we'll be doing what lap is it? Three laps time. time. So that will be lap 12. Here we go then. Oh my goodness. Wait, what happened? We get damage. Vehicle condition. Vehicle condition. Please repeat, you're breaking up. Oh my god, what are you doing? Russell blocks up on the apex as he overtakes us there around the last and final turn. We should have the faster car now with the DRS as well. We retake them. P1. Vehicle condition. Vehicle condition. No tire concerns at the moment. Just okay, we're fine. Oh my goodness. Luckily. Luckily, we're fine. Gatsy now dropping down on the field at the moment because he's in p3 but he's about eight tenths behind of the car of russell russell like he was doing last season absolutely erratic driving all over the flipping place man and now we are going to have to watch out because here we go here he comes again george russell goes for the move we try and do a little bit of a switch back with a better traction zone. Maybe we can go side by side then. Going into the next turn. Yes, we can. On the right hand side, George Russell. We just about breaking time. Russell goes a bit deep. We try and do a switch back, but we can't because we have that wheel spin on the exit that you just saw. And still we are here in P2. Uh, young Isaac, as well as Loyal, as well as Flame Edge, as well as uh, Gaia. What's up? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. It's great to have you here. Undercut will be powerful, you think? Thing is, though, towards the end of the race, you also want to have some tires. Because if we pit in lap 12... Oi, 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 look at this. We've got 42% already. The earlier you go, the worse tires you'll have towards the end. But here we are once again. As for Stefano overtakes Gatsby's wall. Gatsby's dropping down, guys. Dropping down. The tire wear of Gatsby's hitting him harder than the rest. As he goes down all the way into P6. But he pits then. As we try to go for the move on the car of Russell. There's a few drivers who started pitting. Ladies and gents, I don't think we should pit yet. Because if we do that, we are not going to have the tires towards the end. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What lap should we pit? Lap 12 is our pit stop window. Do you think we should pit earlier, later? I mean, I guess they are pitting now, but isn't it a bit early? It's about, well, it's, I guess, one lap early. Two laps early, they did. They pitted in lap 10, guys. And we are going on the hards, guys. We're going on to the hards, because otherwise we're never going to get to the end, because we've just done 11 laps. I mean, I guess we could pit this lap for about 13 more laps on the hards, but let me know what you think. Make sure we don't get undercut it, right? They are doing a two-stop. There's no way they're doing a two-stop, right? Because that's a lot slower. Lap 14 and push last 11 laps. We're not going to go softs, by the way. We're going to go hard. Softs are not going to make it for us. And I say 11 or 12. All right, here we go then. We're trying to go for the overtake once again. He's giving us just about a bit of, a bit of space here to go for the overtake. And we're back into P1. Nice work, mate. One more lap or not. Go lap 13, lap 12. Okay, we'll do one more lap, guys. Russell behind of us, but Russell goes into the pits. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go full push mode. Full push mode this lap to go into the pits now. In this lap, yep, in this lap. Full push mode, ladies and gents. This lap, we're going to go into the pits. This lap and this lap only. And hopefully they won't have undercut us too much here. Box this lap. Box this lap. And our optimal, optimal window is right now to pit for hearts to go to the end. Yeah, the tires are done now. The tires are done now. Come on, come on, come on. We are going to go and absolutely push it. Use the rest of the tire okay, where we have push, still. Push. The, car the rest of the tire life. All in this lap. And we're going to use all the battery as well, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's close. Look at that. We're close to the barriers. We're hitting the barriers. We will go into the pits right here, right now. In lap 12 out of 25 to go and do 13 laps on the hard all the way to the end. 
We have stretched these tires. To be honest, we could have probably pitted one lap before as well. The question is, have we been undercut? Yes or no? If we have, then Russell will be in P1. We're gonna go and pit right now. We're gonna go and find out, but I would love to know from you in the chat at the moment. Put a number one if you think we have been undercut. If, they, if you think they're gonna come out in front. Number two, if you think no, Tom, you will still be leading after your pit stop. Here we go then. Into the pits we go. We're gonna break all out and make sure we don't get a penalty. Almost drift ourselves into the turn. But I think we're okay. All right, come on. A lot of people pitting now. Everybody pitting now. Wow, okay, fair enough. Star Blue as well as Cloud. What's up? Welcome to the family. Okay, go, Pablo's go, go. Welky. Perfect What's up? Welcome in as well. Like nice Alright, where are they? They're coming through to the first turn right now. It's a Ferrari who's leading. It's uh, Charles Leclerc actually who's leading. Here we go then. As he comes through turn one right now, we are just about going to come out as well right here. Will we be able to take the position here? No. We're right behind the river. Right in behind of both Carlos Sainz and Russell. As Russell takes the lead, we are in P3 in this race basically there's a few people who haven't pitted yet like the Aston Martin and the Haas in front but that basically means we're P3 at the moment guys on these brand new hearts they are on the mediums and I can't imagine they go to the end right driver in front driver in front I didn't catch that, mate. oh Say my goodness again. once again am I speaking Chinese hello driver in front okay science is ahead of you okay the gap is less than a second they're on fresh mediums their tyres are two laps old, and the time last lap was a uh, one minute. I don't think he's doing another stop. I don't think he's doing another stop. It doesn't seem like Carlos Sainz will be doing any more pit stops. Pierre Gasly is also behind of us, and he's pitted earlier, which is very good for us, guys. Very, very good for us. All right, come on now. Come on, come on, come on. We need to make sure we stay close. Ooh la la, look at that. He almost shunted into the wall, the car of uh, Carlos Sainz here. But it's all the way to the end now. Battles to the end in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Those hearts will last. Yeah, I think so as well. We might struggle a little bit in the opening stages of this stint. But I think we will be... Well, I know. I know we'll be better towards the end of the race. So that's, the, that's very important. As long as we can stay close here at the start. When they have very quick tires, we should be able to do something at the end. But for Stefan... It's breathing down our neck. I can hear it. <laughs> oh my God, breath. Calm the flip down. Jeez. Okay. And he wants to get by. Look at that. We're a little bit slower compared to Russell and everybody else. This might give an opportunity to Gasly to overtake. And there we go in front. Russell once again having a battle with Sainz. And Sainz now drops down to P2 with Russell in P1. Are the cars equal? No, this is our F1 driver road to glory career, which means we have upgraded the car from, uh, of course, where Alpine was in real life in 2023 to where they are now in our career, and that is the second quickest car. The Red Bull's still the quickest car, but as you can see, they don't have to be the quickest car to be fighting for wins because Mercedes at the moment, very quick. Ferrari, very quick. They're all championship contenders. We have Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, Alpine, all fighting for championships as now it's a bit tough because we got somebody on the oh my god somebody on the right somebody on the left with those two positions right here with Gasly dropping up into P3 and getting the DRS as well he might even take the lead here he might even take the lead as now Verstappen is going to get the left hand side we're going to try and break as late as possible keep it around the outside here but Gasly might even be able to take the lead here on Carlos Sainz as he gets a better traction zone we are right there with Mac Verstappen side by side Gasly out of nowhere goes from P6 P7 to P2 we got sandwiched there I needed to really watch out because if I break very very late we could have we could have lost the tire right there we could have lost the tire and in doing now these battles with Verstappen we've lost over one second to the car in front and that means we don't have the DRS this is going to be crucial for our race and we have to make sure we get the DRS back but Gasly the big profiter from this uh, moment here I mean in one way that sucked but in another way it did give Gasly the opportunity to fight for a win once again but at the same time I don't want to cheer on my teammate too much because if we do he might be a championship contender at some point and then we need to beat him <laughs> so luckily he has scored zero points but at the same time it's unlucky because we want to fight for the constructors championship as well and bring glory 
to the Alpine team. So we need him to score well, but not too well. You know what I mean? Now, though, it's going to be three wide of all of these drivers. Gasly goes down to P3, but he knows he's going to have the DRS here on both of those drivers. We will also have the DRS. I'm going to utilize everything. Can we do a triple overtake here on all of these drivers? We're going to go to the right. Russell defends on the left. Oh my god, this could be it! As we have a clear way, they leave the door open! Ladies and gents, on the inside right here of turn 1, we could drop from P4 into P1 here! But Russell has a better traction zone, it doesn't seem like we're gonna be able to outbreak him, no we can't! Russell remains in P1, but man oh man oh man! It's absolute chaos as Gasly, or yeah, Gasly is back into P4 at the moment. Jeez! Uh, Vibrator, thank you for the follow as well, what's up, welcome in, if you haven't yet hit that follow button and you're enjoying yourself at the moment, make sure you hit that follow button, of course this will be the championship season as we try to fight for the championship, you don't want to miss any of the other shows that we've got coming, but of course this only being the start of our career, and at the moment we would score big points in the championship. Which will be great for our season, already at the start. Yep, that guy's name was Vibrator, yep. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna say thank you for following, okay? Uh, whatever your name is, but don't come in with this, these weird names, okay? <laughs> that was his name! That was literally his name! All right, come on. As we go into third gear, we get a good exit on Russell. Can we get him back? That is the question. Uh, Church M, thank you for the follow as well. What's up, I'm the family. As Russell defends the inside, we have to go all the way to the outside, trying to break as late as possible. Russell breaks later, however, as we try and do... Oh my goodness, we got somebody on the inside! Somebody on the inside! It was signs who sent it on us! Almost shunted us in the rear! We had to make a little bit of way, and now we lose the position. But we're stepping on the inside as well, trying to go for a move. Bro, we're being attacked everywhere! I swear, man, they don't like us. I mean, to be honest, we are the championship leader. So, if there is a target on anyone's back, it's gonna be on ours. But oh la la. Oh la la. Sainz is now over a second behind. Over of Russell. Russell, it could literally run away. Run away with the championship. Come on now. Like that FIFA song, right? Run away, run away. Run away, run away. Yep, just like that. All right, come on. We have to overtake Sainz here. If we don't, we're going to lose Russell. Ladies and gents, this is one of the most crucial points in these races. Or in this race, I mean. Eight laps to go. As we overtake the car, all of Sainz, he needs us a space. He knows it's crucial. We use all the battery to close into the car of Russell. We're going to be so, so quick here. Launching ourselves onto the next trade. 1.1 seconds. It's not going to be any DRS at the moment. But Russell doesn't have any DRS either. Oh, la, la. Big moments as Gasly once again drops down. He was in P2, he was in P1 at some point. It's a position juggling at the moment. Position juggling. Absolutely insane. Of course, over here, DRS is the most important thing. And now we're back in the DRS of George Russell, the current champion. Once again does it, and he shows why he is the champion. He was there at the perfect time. And now, he has gained over two seconds to Perez. Now we need to try and retake that position in the next eight laps, or next seven laps. Question is, will we be able to do it? Because he's very quick at the moment, Russell. Oh la la. Uh, Daniel Smith, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Best decision you could ever make in your life, Daniel. Well done, and welcome in. <laughs> How did he do in Bahrain? Uh, Russell was gonna win that race, but he picked the wrong strategy. He went for a one-stop, while everybody else who did well went for a two-stop. It was a 100% long race, the two-stop was better in that particular race, but Russell opted to go for a one-stop going super long on those tires. He was leading for the majority, and then we overtook him. In the last few laps, like we're doing right now, we're overtaking the car of George Russell as we get a better traction zone. Are we going to get to the DRS? Yes, we are! But Russell is way quicker in a straight line at the moment. We are side by side with him here. We're not going to give him space on the left hand side. We're going to move to the right hand side as late as possible. Russell, however, breaks in super late. Bruh! And he still has the position. 
All right, we're gonna try and get him back now then on the exit. Right inside it is. We need to break as late as possible. Can we keep it hanging? Can we keep it hanging? Yes, we can, but we need to make sure we keep it in the track. Russell has conceded the position, but he's right there behind of us. And in doing so, we've lost a lot of time. A lot of time. I meant you? <laughs> okay. We won the boring Grand Prix after a very close fight towards the end. The strategy was the best one. And um, what was very... Uh, Worrying was that Pierre Gasly blew up his engine in six laps into the first race into the season So I hope that our engine will keep going and we are going to be focusing on that durability this season As Russell goes for another move here way better exit. He has a DRS as well But now we will have the DRS going into the next one Perez two tens behind he's back in the fight as well And I think behind of us there must have been a, a big tussle a big tussle between Gasly, Sainz, and anybody else. All right, we're going to go for the move once again. On the car of Russell. He might even leave us by. Six laps to go. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But who is going to be the one leading in the very last lap, ladies and gents? That is the question. Handled by Penguin. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Good to have you here. As now Russell comes back at us. Like I said, it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, la, la. Crazy that the 24 mode doesn't make Max super fast. Uh, the 24 mode is only visuals. It's not speed. Um, I uh, I would I would never uh, change the speed of the cars in the game. I think that's against the terms of service as well. Um, I only change the appearance of uh, of the cars uh, with this mod. So. Never, never. Never. And if I do, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I would, I, I would never, uh, I would never do that. Doesn't make sense to do that. Especially not in the career mode. I don't need it. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. George Russell. DRS opens up. Once again, five laps to go. Start making a plan. Yep, we need to start making a plan. Where do we want to be in that last and final lap? Remember though, the hard tires will start gaining a little bit of time right here because of the DRS once again. But Perez is now right behind two. It's probably going to be a three-way battle as Russell's on the inside. Perez is going to be right behind. It's going to be three-way. And Perez might even take it into the lead right here as he breaks on time. I think it's three wide still. I don't want to leave not enough space. And Perez indeed goes through to take the lead. And like I was saying earlier, no way Perez is going to be able to fight for the, for the championship here. But what the flip is this? Perez now. P2 in the last race. P1 in this one. It seems like Perez is insane pace this season. Better than Mac Verstappen. Because where the flip is Mac Verstappen in this race? He's nowhere. He's flipping nowhere. Russell hugging the inside line like his life depends on it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Gasly back into P4. And it does just a little bit more battling here. I think Gasly might be able to get back into the DRS here. So we need to watch out with how much we want to battle. Because if we do battle, then we will have a longer train that will be uh, all fighting for that P1. All right, come on. Nine tenths to Russell. The rest is rapid. Will we go up the inside? We're going to try to show ourselves. Oh la la. Oh la la, Musa with a Simon. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. If you're enjoying yourself right now, hit that follow button as we go for the move on Sergio Perez. We go a little bit wider. Sergio Perez has a better exit, but that means we will have the DRS right here to get back into a move. He defends the left hand side. He doesn't want us to go there, so we will go all the way around. But he knows he can break later than us. But this time around, he does not break later than us, and that means we, ladies and gents, have got. The position in lap 22 at a 25 to get back into the lead. Three tenths behind those. Serge Perez, then Russell, then Leclerc, then, then Gasly. They just keep on fighting, however, behind. And that is going to hinder them closing in. A lot. But that's good for us. That's very good for us. No! Once again, big moment as we get ourselves over the Tony Hawk curve. That's what I like to call it because once you go over, you just slide over as like a skateboard, grinding. And that is exactly what we did.
We need to watch out because that could be a very, very big mistake later on as well. That curve is so high, it just grinds you over the plank underneath the car. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. All right, come on now. Come on, come on, watch out. Russell once again behind. Perez is rapid, three laps to go. A warm block committee for joining in right here to the Alpine F1 driver road to glory career in Saudi Arabia as we go for the move once again with Perez. He goes a bit slower though, on the exit, and now Russell's closed in once again. Honestly, it's anyone's game at the moment. It's anyone's game, but luckily we are about P1 to P3 the entire time. Who do you think will win? The Saudi Arabia Grand Prix, ladies and gents. Will it be Russell? Will it be Tombina? Will it be Perez? Will it be Leclerc? Will it be Sainz? Or will it even be Gasly? Ah, oh, here they come. Here they come. And now Russell, as he overtook Perez, is back in the lead. Oh, my God. Come on, you can win that place back. It's so random. Well, it's not random. We see it happening in front of us. But it's so random on who is in the lead at what point in the race. I think anybody almost in this race has, has led the race at some point. Engine failure, engine blows up on lap 25. Please don't manifest it. If you manifest it, it will happen. <laughs> don't do it. It always works like that. Don't do it. And now Leclerc, I believe, is closing in once again as well. And Leclerc has opted to go for the same strategy as us. Leclerc's on the heart as well, so he might be a danger. Danger Will Robinson. Yep, Danger Will Robinson. He is here. And he has arrived. And he is going to want to take that P1. As Luke Edison comes in with a flipping raid right on time. What up, Luke? Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that you guys are joining in. In lap 23 out of 25 as we try to get the lead here in our Alpine F1 driver road to glory career. In lap 23 out of 25 of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I really appreciate that raid, man. Thank you so much. I hope your stream was awesome. That is uh, very, very kind. And a warm welcome in no need to, worry about the time to uh, those of you who were watching Luke Addison's show. Yo, come on. All right, let's see what we can do. Perez into P3. Russell into P2. We have a little bit of battery to play with, but Russell will go for the move at the moment as he goes up the inside. Yep, I don't think I can fight that. Oh my goodness, he looks at the tires, though. He looks at the tires, which means we... Had to stamp on the brakes. It's lap 24 now out of 25. And we need to start thinking of what we're going to be doing. As we try and look around the outside, Russell does not go and show us the space. He doesn't leave the door open. We know Russell for that. He likes to close the door, but that is exactly what he needs to do at the moment. All right, what do you think, guys? Don't do it on the last lap. I mean, if we don't do it on the last lap, then they are going to have an advantage. We luckily have some battery to play with. But you've seen it. Even though we have a lot of battery, it's really, really hard to, you know, defend if we don't have the DRS. And they're all using all the battery that they have, right? Leclerc is now there. And Verstappen has lost a lot of time. So I think it's going to be a four-way battle for the win, guys. It's going to be a four-way battle for the win. We go up the inside of the car of Russell right here. He goes a bit wider. Keeps the position. Now we're side by side through the last few turns. All right, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think we need to just focus on getting the DRS right here, but we're now three wide, so we need to watch out. I need to keep all the way to the left-hand side. It's four wide right here. It's four wide going into the last few laps here. Into the last lap on the start. We are in the worst possible position because we do not have the DRS at the moment. Everybody's super close. Perez is back in P2. Okay, we need to start thinking about how we're going to approach this last lap because we are going to be in P2 right here. We have to consolidate and then... In that last lap, on that last race, we need to have the DRS to be able to get into that P2 position. Or P1 position. Oi, 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 oi. It is lap 25 out of 25 at the moment. Perez leads the race. Russell right behind. Leclerc right behind. If you're in P4 right now, you must be smiling because you know you have a double, triple even. Slipstream DRS. Come on, come on, come on. As we close in to the car over Perez. I think he's holding up a lot of the field at the moment. But he's driving away right here. Luckily, we have the battery. We're going to utilize it all. Utilize the battery. Come on now. Get closer, get closer, get closer. DRS as well. I think that's going to put us close enough. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the last and final three, Dennis Perez leads. We have the DRS, and we're gonna close in right here, dumping all the battery to... Jesus, what are you doing? Perez closes the door on the right-hand side, has no more battery. We go around the outside, have to go a little bit wider, getting a better traction zone. But Perez is going to be leading at the moment. Will we be able to go and get the move done then? I don't think so. I don't think so. Perez closes the door and we get P2. I'm proud of you, man. That was a good Bruh. job. He did really well out there. Superb driving. He closed the door on the right-hand side. We were going to go for the overtake. And that would have been an easy move because that last three does not have enough um, uh, kill, uh, meters to, you know, to travel to be able to go for the overtake. We tried to go as late as possible, tried to get a better traction zone, but Perez was way in front, and Perez wins this race. Perez is most likely. Oh no, actually, I think I think actually because he got P2 in the last race, it's only one point in between of us and um, uh, us and Perez in the championship. You have the outside, have to put down the power. I mean, I, I was there, but the he touched me. I'll show you. I will show you. If now, I continue there, the I would have put Perez standards. in the wall. Despite the best efforts look. Of our championship leader. Look at this. Last lap. Right here on lap 25. Remember, by the way, we are going to get ourselves into the... Um, next race as well, so, uh, uh, Australia, so make sure you stick around because we're gonna get ourselves straight into the race. We closed into Perez right here, right? Let me get rid of that as well. As we're in lap 25, right? We set the car up to make sure we got the DRS right here. We do. Perez stays in the middle of the track, really annoying, right, normally? We go to the outside. Look at this, look at this. I mean, I guess I had a little bit of space on the outside still. But, wait, let me see on board. Let me see on board. I mean, if you look at it like this, guys. How are, how are you going to put the... F how are you going to put the throttle on? The guy was staring to the right. Like, he only started moving to the left once we touched him. We literally touched him. There was no space. We, you know how quick you go through this corner. We would have we lost, lost the front wing if we kept going. Because you need to turn as well, remember? It's not a straight... There would have been enough uh, space if it was a straight, but it's a, it's a turn. So it was, I mean, I guess it was fair from Perez, but yeah, I, I guess we should have gone to the left-hand side. Which, we had so much speed, there was only one way to go, and that was to the right-hand side, so it was really, really tough. We, I mean, I, I think if I kept the speed up, if I kept the throttle down, I think I would have touched the wall and lost the front wing. But yeah, we had to go off the throttle, then we tried to go for the move. Inside or outside? We kept the inside. We go all the way out to the outside. We break at the 100 meter board. Go too wide. Don't even get marbles on the track. But yeah, that was it for uh, the position and for the win. But I mean, man, we could have gotten away. We were there fighting for the win the entire time. But you saw how, how crazy it was. Overtaking left, right and center. Pierre Gasly was leading at some point in the race. About a few times and he finishes P6. So I think finishing in that P2 position, we should be happy with that. Um, and now, in the championship, which we'll see right now, you'll see where we uh, are going to be. Charles Leclerc is our rival, and we beat him, which is good, but I expected more from him. I expected less from Sergio Perez, because he is, at the moment, our main championship rival. Yeah, you're right. I think uh, it looked a bit dirty from Perez when we were driving, but it feels like he didn't really have a lot of choice there. He, he just put the car in the correct position, and... And we just had to yield. We got enough space, but in that turn, you know, it's a turn, remember? It's, it is full throttle, but it is a turn. So the margin for error is so small. And if I if I expected Perez to give us enough space, I would I would have kept it full throttle, but he he didn't give us enough space. Or at least I in my mind I didn't have enough. I think it could have worked, but just with a millimeter, you know what I mean? Like it was good defense. It was good defense. Uh, Paul, Aeronet, TTV, SKN, this was Raven, Flo follow Slurpee, boom! Thank you for the follow as well, what's up? And Luke Edison, once again, thank you so much for the raid, I really appreciate that. Uh, we will check out the standings, ladies and gents, and at the moment, we are leading by one point, and one point only, over Sergio Perez. The championship is heating up already, as we are going into the third race of the season, Australia, which should be a tough race, because we are going to have a good challenge over here. It's a track that normally the competition is very strong at. 
uh, with us being in P2 and the constructors as well. We are 52 points in. Remember, we're doing the next race already as well. Australia, right here, right now. We've got some points to spend in the meantime on durability because that is what we need. And we'll go and spend it on the gearbox because we don't want the car to blow up anymore because that is exactly what lost us the championship in season one of this career. Red Bull, still the quickest car on the grid, then it's us, but we are very closely followed by Mercedes, there's a Martin and Ferrari. Ferrari slowing down the performance here in the performance development as we have an upgrade. <laughs> Never mind, we have an upgrade, mother suckers. No, we, no, we don't have an upgrade because the upgrade failed. But some of them have failed. Luckily, we have some uh, monies we'll to, to spend on the exhaust to give us more straight line speed, but it's gonna come after. The flippin' Australian Grand Prix, are you serious? Well, luckily we just now about have enough points, so... Yeah, let's, let's redo that upgrade. And let's get ourselves straight into the Australian Grand Prix. But before we do that, we have a... Question. Do we appear in the advert or focus on the work? What do we do? Do we want those resource points or do we want to have an advert? They're a global company. The publicity would be huge. What do we do? Let me know. Either resource points we get or driver acclaim we get. Alpine loves you already. I hope so. I hope so after almost winning the championship. All right. Let's disagree. Thanks. We need to I focus on the races the ahead. Mother Sakas. We need to do it. APT Dark Wolf. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Good to have you here. Oh, Caleb says agree. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caleb. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are going to go and advance to the Australian Grand Prix straight away then. And um, hopefully this one will be a P1. But I can't complain. If we can get P2s and P1s all season long, then oh my goodness, guys. I will be happy no matter what. All right. Let's go and uh, go to the race we can then. And let's do a few laps in practice. And then let's get straight into the qualifying, you know? Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay, wait. It's only raining in practice, is it? Yeah, it's only raining in practice. Oh, wow, okay. So it's dry in the qualifying. It's dry in the race. It's even going to be super hot in the qualifying. So, interesting. Interesting. What time is practice for you tomorrow? 9.30 a.m. for me in Western Australia? Well, not for me. I think practice starts at 2 or 3 a.m. for me. I don't know. God, what, what, what time is practice in Europe? Right tomorrow. It's like 2 a.m. or something? 3 a.m.? I ain't waking up for it. I, I'm not even waking up for practice too. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Number one, guys. If you are going to be waking up for practice... I mean, some of you might already be awake <laughs> but number one if you're waking up for practice you are i mean you guys are you guys are the real deal guys you guys are the real deal you won't go to sleep fair enough hey yo actually i might wait let me see what time is it for me right now or uh, what time is for me going to be the practice one because practice one might even be uh, you know late enough to the point where i can stay awake no, no, it's 2.30 a.m. I ain't, I ain't staying awake up until then, man. 2.30 a.m. If I stay awake up until 2.30 a.m., I'm not going to be able to wake up tomorrow for the show. Right? I will wake up for qualifying, which is at 6 a.m. for me, and the race is at 5 a.m. Oh, my God! 5 a.m. Bruh! Jeez. Well, that's going to be a fun day. That's gonna be a fun day. The race is at 4 a.m. for me. <laughs> do we wake up or do we, do we wake up or do we stay awake? What do, what do we think here? Do we wake up or do we stay awake? What's the best thing to do? If I wake up at 5 a.m. or at least 4 4:45, and I go to bed at 12, I have four hours of sleep. I wake up, wake up in my opinion, wake up. Or your sleep schedule is ruined. That is true. Don't sleep at all. You can always watch the recording. No, 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 no. I watched the recording for one race and one race only in my life. Okay. One race. Guess what flipping race it was. 
the Spanish 2016 Grand Prix. I'm never watching a race on recording. My voice was going, or my, my phone was going, bruh, 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 bruh. never again. Never again. I'm not doing it. Yep, indeed. What a race to miss. Of course, it's that race I did. I watched on record. That's the first race I watched on recording. Never. Never again. Okay, we are gonna go and get ourselves the practice one though, ladies and gents. We're gonna do one or two laps and then boom! We are gonna get straight into the qualifying session. And it's raining. Great. Amazing. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. That's what we need. That is what we need right now. Some rain in my life. The lesson taught you... The, the universe taught you a lesson that day. Yep, they did. They did. Uh, when is it gonna be dry here? I told you about the new parts that have come in from the factory, right? Well, they're all fitted and good to go. I hope they do the trick. Is it gonna be dry even? It seems like it's just gonna be raining all day here. <laughs> in practice. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be dry later on. Okay, let's, let's accelerate the time a little bit right there. And then we'll see. Bro just took the Dutch weather to Australia. Yep, it looks like it. <laughs> it looks like it. All right, we're getting close now to... I think I'd dry weather running. In At the moment it's intermediate. But I want to do some dry weather running because we ain't doing no rain running. Why would we even do rain running? There is not going to be any rain, right? Hey Tom, what is your favorite F1 game? Um, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, the thing is like favorite and best are always very easily distinguishable because the best is always the latest one, right? Because they keep improving on the games. But the favorite is very subjective, right? I started doing uh, the shows. Well, back then it was not a show yet. It was a stream, right? In 2019. And that was a really cool time. So maybe that... For the nostalgic, it was it was very good then. But uh, I think... Uh, what game did you enjoy the most? Like, which one did I enjoy the most? Probably F1 2016. When I wasn't even streaming yet. Right? I had my little sim set up right beside my bed, doing career modes, watching Arab videos. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that. All right, let's go ahead. And and then also the career mode was just, or the brand new career mode was just included. So everything was new. That was good fun. That was good fun. All right, we're going to go under the soft tires right here. And we're also going to make sure we put a setup. Australia, that is an old setup. Wow very old well then that means only one thing i'm gonna quickly put a brand new one in um let me do that uh, australia okay well, that's not bad actually pretty close to what i had before oh wow it's very close it stayed it stayed pretty much uh, well not the same but I'm gonna put the, the tire pressure a bit lower because, of course, we're in a point of our career where we can have some tire overheating. Actually, maybe even lower than that. I, I, I might have just put minimum. Yeah, I'll put minimum. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, ladies and gents. We're gonna do 10 kilos in the car here to go out on track here for the first time. Then we're gonna go onto the medium tires to do one or two laps and then boom, boom, boom. It's time to go already. What? Wait, is it still not dry? Oh, well, let's uh, accelerate the time a little bit more then until it's dry because <laughs> I don't wanna go out on track with mediums in the wet. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, the times are definitely improving a lot right now. Come on. A second. Yeah, when is it dry? Yeah, I think uh, I've. Oh, there we go. I think it's dry right now. Oh, not yet completely. Bro, we, we have no time in this flipping session where it's dry. What, what is this? Is that the Alpine Esports jersey, Tom? No, this is the brand new Alpine F1 team jersey. Uh, I, uh, I bought it and customized the back uh, of the shirt with, <laughs> with Tom69. Great. Amazing. All right. I think it's dry right now. It must be dry right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go out on track with 10 minutes to go. We're not going to use the 10 minutes. We're only going to use one or two laps. Here we go, then. Here we go. Let's do it, baby. If you don't mind me asking, how much did your sim equipment cost? <laughs> Too much. I mean, you can see, you can find it out for yourself. It's different in every single country as well. But um, and also, not like not all my sim equipment is brand new anymore now. Obviously, 
uh, because I've been using some of the stuff for uh, a decent while. Bro, how much flipping tire marbles are on the car, on the on the on the tires? Look at this! Look at the look at the tires, guys! <gasps> oh my goodness! Wait, I'm a uh, I'm a. What is this on the tires? Who pooped on my tires? Uh, but if you want to see my setup and all of the stuff I have, like, for example, the computer specs and stuff, then check out my Discord over there. You will be able to see that because um, I've put all my specs and stuff in the Discord, uh, including, like, what I'm using for the simulator and whatever. Uh, like, my uh, what simulator it is, what wheel I have, what pedals I have. So if you want to add it all up, then you can. But I don't have a number in my head because I don't really... I don't really... Uh, think when i'm when i'm buying a setup thinking like oh yeah let's uh, make the setup uh, more expensive now <laughs> let's let's put it up to this amount but uh yeah if you want to see uh, what what i use then uh, you can do so in the in the discord but it's not cheap um, but it is my job right so and i've waited a long time with upgrading my wheel like probably too long because I, I wanted to use all the cash flow to improve the show. And I've always said, right, a wheel doesn't improve your experience. But at some point, I just had to get a better wheel. Uh, I, I think I was using my Fanatec uh, CSL Elite, which wasn't even a direct drive. Which is still a good wheel, right? But I was using that up until about a year ago. But for the first three years, I was using that. Still a good wheel, though, but... Yeah, I, I tried to uh, wait for as long as possible. Uh, getting that, bro. What is the tires, man? I don't, I don't believe there's so much. There's so many tire marbles. Like, it is actually crazy right now. How many tire marbles there are on the track? Isn't it? Used tire? No, they're not even used. Look, it only gets on the on the on the tire when we are outside of the racing line, like here. Look at that. There's so much. So many tire marbles. All right, I guess he wants to go for the overtake. Go on, son. Look, if I park it on the left-hand side. Oh, of course, now there's no more tire marbles. Look, right here. Look at this poop on the tires. Jeez. It's because of the rain? Yeah, it could be because of the rain. Whoever cleared this track. Right? Whoever cleared this track after flipping 5,000 bird poops on the track needs to be fired. FIA, hello? All right, come on now. What we're going to do, ladies and gents, we are going to go and utilize a little bit of the battery here. And we're going to try and do a quicker lap. We're going to do hot lap mode and we're going to get started at a track that is, I don't think, completely dry yet. But I don't think it's completely dry yet. But here we go then. Here we go. And the fifth gear. You know what? I think we're ready. I think we're ready, ladies and gents. Let's retire from the session. It's time to go and get ourselves started with the qualifying. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stupid marbles, man. Yeah. Blame the marbles. Yeah, literally, it is the marbles. I can't drive with this. How is there so many marbles on the track? It's impossible. I hope the, the track won't be getting wet or more wet because then the track will stay green, which means all the marbles will be on the track. Seems like it will be like that. Uh, J7 Mall, as well as Namio, Agulberg, as well as Calevan Paroni, uh, JBD Crazy, boom! Uh, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Kangaroo Poo. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's Kangaroo Poo. That could be the case. That's actually very smart of you, Hummer. Flipping Kangaroo Poo, isn't it? The session is drawn to a close. Ah, Selection there we go then. Top three. Perez, Pierre Gasly Sainz, was able to Pierre evade Gasly. the Kangaroo Poo and he got P3. Uh, only one tenth behind of Sergio Perez, who once one. again, man. Oh, he's going to be our championship rival, isn't he? Why did I chose Charles Leclerc, who's currently P10, but he's on the hearts, remember? Sergio Perez in P1. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Alrighty then, what we're going to do is we are going to go and upgrade, or uh, at least not upgrade, but we're going to go and get, do the quick practice, get some R&D points, and then straight away, we'll try and get pole position. 
in that second race of the day. Also the last one of the day. It is hopefully going to be a good one. And hopefully we'll keep the lead. Because if Sergio Perez does better than us. Oh la la. He will be the championship leader. Uh, banned Kits. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Banned Kits. He was banned after he didn't put a number 11 in the chat. Once the, once the show ended. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Alright. I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough, guys. Guys and girls. You said Perez? Perez was gonna get it? Well... Yep, you might have been right. But it's only race two, right? We've only done two races right here. Alrighty then, a warm welcome in to the show. Yo, off today, it's qualifying time. Then after that, a race of 29 laps. Ladies and gents, a warm, warm welcome. 54 points for us. 53 for Sergio Perez. One point at least, in between of the championship at the moment. Can we keep it? That's the question. We're about to find out. In the Alpine F1 driver road to glory career at Australia. The track that, of course, is um, the track for this weekend in real life as well. Tomorrow, we do the full 100% Australian Grand Prix prediction race. Also, where we look forward to the actual real life Australian Grand Prix by checking out the news, doing a quiz, uh, seeing if you have the, the right memory still of what happened in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And we do our F1 fantasy uh, draft, which would be uh, very, very fun. Why did you not do all the practice? I mean, I, uh, I didn't do one of them, but that's okay. Apart from that, we did, we, we, we've got all of the um, R&D points. All right. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gents, let's go and get out on track. But before we do that, let's quickly go and make sure. Because of course, 10 kilos. No, we need six kilos. Or, or five. Can we do five? Let, let's do five. Let's do five. Five kilos in the car to make sure we are the lightest, the quickest of anybody out on track. Where will we finish in the qualifying session? Let me know in the chat, it's now completely okay, dry and complete. hopefully the tire marbles will be gone because that was flipping weird like, uh, for, like earlier. That was weird. Normally, if you're on the racing line, you should not get that many tire marbles. It didn't feel like a car, like an F1 car even. It felt like an F2 car and how, how slow it was in the corner. The simple answer Tom won't tell you is that he's lazy. Well, that's the other explanation. That is the other explanation. You know, that's two more clicks I need to do. Come on, makes me tired. Uh, Dylan Berg, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. You're joining in right now to the qualifying session. 16 minutes only. And you guys are saying P2, P3, P7. Okay, well. If we get anywhere, if we can get anywhere in the top five, top seven, I will be happy because we can do plenty good things from there. But as you can see, no more tire marbles at the moment, as we are as we are on those soft tires. I'm happy now. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we have a track that at least is dry, and we're on the formation lap right now. We're on the out lap at the moment, warming up our tires. We want our bust. We haven't got a single pole position yet. Pierre Gasly got two pole positions. He's using our car way better than us at the moment, but only in qualifying. He might be running a setup that is a bit more tailored towards the qualifying. We are running a setup that is more tailored towards the race. So, yeah, I think that is the smartest thing to do. But Pierre Gasly just wants the bragging rights, the mother sucker. All righty then, here we go then, as we go and put on the ERS then. We are going to get started with the third lap of qualifying. Where will we be then? Come on, here we go. Into fourth gear, over the curbs, almost losing the car then, almost losing the car. We're gonna keep it going. Do not abort. Come on, keep it going. Back into third gear. One, we go a little bit wide as well at the moment. Back into fourth, stay close to the inside on the power straight away. Looking a little bit slow at the moment, to be honest, but... It is gonna be a banker as Mac Verstappen puts in a 116.3. As his fastest level of anybody out on track. We are green in the first sector, not purple, so a couple of the uh, competition have put a better lap time in at the moment. The RS opens up then as you go through the middle sector, through to the quickest turns of this track. We go back into sixth gear, go over the curbs hard, make sure we don't lose the car here on the exit. The RS opens up again, and another faster lap. 
Can we get close? That is the question. As we break in time, back into third gear, go over the curves a little bit. There's more time to be gained, though. We didn't really do a, a very good practice lap. As we're back at the third gear, through the last turn, what will it be, ladies and gents? It's two times green, no purple. I think there's more to be gained. There has to be. Over the line, it is P4 behind of Alexander Elborn with a 116.5. Hey, at least we're close, right? Fastest lap overall. Fastest lap overall. Four tenths is doable. It is absolutely doable. Four tenths is doable. If we don't lose the, you know, if we hit the apex in a few of the turns, like this one, don't go too wide here. Looks like we have a little bit of understeer today in this race, but P4. And there's not, not everybody has done a lap yet, so I think we will drop down a little bit, maybe even to P8 or something, once everyone has done a lap, but let's see. This Albon is in P3 at the moment. Ay, 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 ay. Well, well, well. Uh, Dine7LZ is as Freddy Luckies. What's up, welcome in. The best decision to hit that follow button right now. If you're enjoying yourself, make sure you... Oh, okay. Hit that follow button. We're literally going into the pits. Like, I don't know why you're giving me a warning. We're going into the pits. Hello. Uh, then make sure you hit that follow button. You do not want to miss out whatsoever on any of the future shows. And if you do, we will be back in a year's time. And tell me, Tom, I missed out on a year of fun. Yep. It's happened like that already a lot of times. And it will happen again if you don't hit that follow button right here. Uh, all right, here we go then. Into the pits we go. And we don't break at all. Well, that's amazing. Two warnings already in our in-lap. Two warnings in our flipping in-lap. Is this the new F124 game? No, it is not. It is the F123 game with 2024 liveries that I've put in the game as part of a livery mod. Um, if you want to know more, check out my Discord uh, about the mods, right? But uh, F124 releases in about uh, two months, I believe, right? We're, we're close, guys. We're very, very close. And this career will end before F124 releases. Steering wheel looks lit. It looks pretty cool, huh? I, uh, I used the... Um, the Ren or uh, the Lotus E20 steering wheel when I was driving the F1 car in uh, a year ago. And that one is way less, way less technological than this one. Way less buttons. I actually knew kind of what the buttons kind of meant. I, to be honest, I only had to memorize one button. <laughs> and that was the clutch. <laughs> I didn't have to, to press a single button, which was great. But even if, I would be able to touch the buttons. Look, I've, I've got enough buttons on my steering wheel at the moment, right? I need to, I memorized all of them, right? However, I don't really use all the all the all the buttons that you like turn and stuff for the F1 game. But anyway, let's go ahead and put on those brand new tires for this last and final run. At the moment, six stands behind because Lando Norris, Lando Norris came out of nowhere to take pole position at this point in time. He is uh, P1 with a 115.9. Charles Leclerc, there he is, ladies and gents. In race three, he finally shows his pace is in P2 with the fastest middle sector. We are six tenths behind. And now in P10, question is, will we be overtaken by a few more drivers? No. Esteban Ocon in the Williams though. What the flip are you doing? 2.5 seconds off. Hello? We know you're quicker than that. But of course, we sent him off to a vacation in Hawaii because we took his seat. I'm sorry. So he might be a bit rusty still, right? He might be a bit rusty. All right. So... Brand new tires here for the last and final lap. We will go and accelerate the time to about two and a half minutes because that is when it's the optimal time to go out on track to get the maximum track evolution because the track gets quicker the more cars drive on it, right? Let's see what we can do in this last and final lap. We need to gain time. If we don't, we have to come from P10 on the grid, which is not what we want to do. Here we go then. Boom! Gian FPS as well as GST Jules of M Styles DK. Boom! Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. How about driving in cockpit view? It is more realistic, yes, but for the show, it is not beneficial whatsoever. You're able to see way less of the battles. Um, it is much less entertaining and much harder for me as well. To the point where, um, you know, it's going to be uh, more boring. So that is the reason why I don't use cockpit cam for the shows. 
in the F1 game at least. On Saturday, we will be using Cockpit Camp because we will be doing the Sebring 12 hours on iRacing in the LMP2 car. And in iRacing, you do not have a choice to take the P-Camp. Um, so that will be, uh, be interesting. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Did I hear iRacing? You did hear iRacing. On Saturday, it'll be cool. Even if you've never seen any iRacing, don't worry, I will explain it to you. It'll be... Oi! Jesus, man! Piastri! Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Uh, I'm letting him... F I'm letting him buy because he's flipping... He's just staying on his line. He wants to leave us by, but he doesn't want us to go and take the normal line. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are getting the lap ready here. We have 40 seconds remaining here to start the lap, which is good. So, we can keep a little bit of space between of us at the moment, which we will do. And then we're going to start the lap right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the last and final lap of qualifying. Can we get pulled? Let's find out. There we go. A little bit slower on the entry, but quicker on the exit. That is what we needed because we lost a lot of time last time out. Then go a bit wider. Keep the car close to the inside. On the power straight away. Only 40,000 up at the moment. Come on! Charles Leclerc with a 15.5. We're now one tenth quicker. Come on. That's not quick enough, I don't think. We need a full second to beat Charles Leclerc's fastest lap time. Come on now, come on. Into sixth gear. Over the curbs. There we go, gain a bit of time more. Two tenths at the moment. We lost a bit of time in the last and final sector as well. Come on, we need to gain it back. Oh, as we're a bit wide. That's losing us time, but still three and a half tenths up at the moment. On the grass as well, a very sloppy lap as we go over the grass again and we lose time. That's it. That's it, ladies and gents. We cannot improve anymore. And I think it's going to be P11. If nobody else improves, it's going to be P11. Not even in the top 10 here, in Australia. Oh my goodness. That was not the qualifying we wanted. Plenty of mistakes on our lap. And now we have to come through the grid. This Qualified will be a tough one to, get to score to good points because Charles Leclerc takes full position by two and a half tenths. Pierre Gasly gets P2, Carlos Sainz P3. Uh, it looks like Ferrari is the perfect car for uh, the Australian track, but man, oh man, oh man. Luckily, Perez is in P6. So, of course, the championship contender at the moment, uh, Sergio Perez. I mean, it's only two races, so everybody's still a championship contender. But yeah, he's P6, so that's not great from him. But yeah, we, we are lacking about a few tenths here per lap. I mean, we would have gained about three and a half, four tenths, even with that bad lap. But we went way too wide in the last few turns. And that would have been about a P8 in the end. So yeah, I mean, it would have been close to everyone else. But not the pace we wanted around Australia. As our teammate is, is in a good position. But it seems like the car does not really suit the Australian track. P6 is the best possible for this race. I think we can do more than P6 in this race. But uh, for the qualifying, for sure. 100%. I think we can do well in the race. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gents. In this second season and last season of the Alpine Road to Glory career, we are fighting for the championship. To refresh your memory on where we are, we have won, uh, We have 44 points. We have won the first race. We got second in the second race. Sergio Perez got a second in the first race. He got a win in the second race. But why do we have one point more than him? Because we had the fastest lap in the first race, ladies and gents. That is what is giving us this championship lead at the moment. But because we qualified low in this qualifying, we are under pressure. Because if Charles Leclerc does a good result and we get no points, oh yo yo, he could be the championship leader. So let's see what will happen here in the race. 29 laps of the Australian Grand Prix. The last race of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, chill back, relax, get a popcorn, 
get a milkshake and enjoy because I'm going to make sure you are going to get entertained. Finishing the top five for a prediction. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You have TTS turned off? Uh, no, for the, I have TTS turn, turned off for bits. If you subscribe, you are able to put in a message. And if you want to do TTS for the, do, uh, for the donation, it works. Uh, exclamation mark uh, donate, I believe. And then you can uh, do TTS over there, which is the main way to get the TTS. But I don't have TTS as in like channel Melbourne points, in the channel points, whatever, sun. because it's then it's going to be chaos, and it's a fantastic <laughs> right? And then, then you're listening track. less to me and more to the TTS. All right, here we go. 34 degrees on the track. That's hot. Look at Park That's Park. really hot. 2022 redevelopment turns one, three, six, and thirteen are oh my goodness. than they once were. We have thrown turns nine and ten. We have three DRS zones the at the moment. Still. Have three DRS zones that and that's a lot. That uh, I think they actually got rid of the DRS zone on the last raid. I wonder if they have it back now. Guys, do we have the third DRS zones? Do we have the three yesterday. DRS zones for the Australian Grand Prix in real life? Or is it still two? But Charles Leclerc is on pole position. Sainz, Gasly, P2. Norris, then we have Sainz and P3. Paris, no reason P4. Verstappen, P5. And then Perez and P6. Piastri, P7. All the way down, though. We are going to be there. Joe, Hulkenberg, what did he say? Sonoda, Stroll, Bottas. What Bottas, did he say? Ricardo and Logan Sargent. Now it's almost time for lights out. Did so you hear what he said? To the track. Did anybody hear what he said? Oh my goodness. After the points finished last race, let's aim to I've keep that momentum I've donated five euro going. a few minutes ago. Oh, really? That uh, it should show up. Let me check real quick. Yeah. Uh, let me check real quick. Real quick. There you go, bruh. It didn't show up. That's weird. That's really weird. Tom, hello. Tom, why do you like to spin so much? <laughs> Tom the spin bomb. <laughs> All right, you spin, know what? Spin, spin, stop spin. You know what? I should have never. <laughs> I should have never gone and replayed it. <laughs> You mother sucker. Thank you so much, though. Uh, Dutch Smeagol for the five euro donation. You absolute legend. I really appreciate that, man. That's super kind of you. I don't know why it didn't show up. It should automatically show up because I had to replay it here, uh, which is uh, which is which is weird. I will say though, I will say stream elements in the last two days has been a bit uh, glitchy because I had I've had to put up another activity feed to see what what is happening. Uh, so it might be dead. It might be dead. Uh, but thank you, Dutch Miko. Uh, that's very very kind of you. And uh, yeah, do let me know if it doesn't show up in the future because uh, you know. We, we want it to show up. Unless you put a flipping message like that, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you, though, mate. That's very, very kind. Too kind. Appreciate it. All right. The question is, will we spin? What do you think, guys? Number one in the chat. Number one in the chat, if you think we will spin. We will check out the race strategy right here, though. And it looks like a soft, medium, medium will be the best strategy for us. Or medium, medium, soft. Because we want to be quick at the end, remember? We want to be quick at the end. If we want to be quick at the end, for that, we will have to do... I think eight laps, ten, la eleven laps, ten laps, eight laps, or maybe like this: ten laps, eleven laps, eight laps, like that, right? Oh, everybody thinks we're spinning. Great, absolutely amazing. You did that in Bahrain, yeah, we did, and then we still won it. <laughs> absolutely great. We love it. All right, I think uh, I think medium, medium, soft, right? Let me see. Hey Tom, just one question. Do you speak any other languages other than English and Dutch? Bonjour mes amis, hola mi amigos, ciao a tutti, hallo alle zaman, hallo meine Freunde, hallo allemaal. Giesas, habari, konnichiwa, ni hao, lai ho, um, ni hao, namaste, merhaba, welcome in, wherever the flip you're from in the entirety of the world. I speak every single language in the entirety of the world, okay? As you can see right here. <laughs> So no then, okay. I uh, 
I speak a bit of French. Your German is so goofy. What do you mean? Hallo, meine Freunde. Ich bin Tom. Und uh, ich gehe uh, diese uh, diese Race uh, winne. Winne? I don't know. No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions look good. Je suis Tom et je uh, je je vais gagner ce race. Set race. Je vais gagner set race. Kaboom! Je suis le champion de cette saison. Après euh, le fini. Kaboom! Anybody understood that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. That's great. That is absolutely amazing. All right. We are gonna go and warm those tires up here. I would love to know from you in the chat right here. What do you reckon we will do in this race? We're starting on the medium tires, which is different than the cars in front. We're doing two stops, medium, medium, soft. Will this be the race where we will go and score big? It is a bit tougher because we have not qualified in a good position right now. Uh, IX call, co-field, as well as whole guard, a grand dog. I will say, I... Um, I speak Dutch, obviously it's my it's my home language, right? I speak English, obviously you can hear it right now. Uh, then after that it kind of becomes uh, worse. <laughs> but I can understand reading in, in French completely, right? Uh, a little bit of speaking in French as well. Uh, and German uh, is close to late. Dutch, Let's so sure I think those ones are the easiest ones, drivers, but besides that, I only speak a couple of words from most languages. All right, here we go then, as we're going to go and get ourselves started with the lights going on right now, but the Italian, or no, the Australian Grand Prix, come on now! As we go and get a good start right there on those medium tires, we have to try and see if we can get a good getaway and get those positions. We need to get positions because otherwise we will lose a lot of points in the championship compared to our rivals. Sergio Perez loses a lot of positions and he's now behind of us. Our championship rival goes all the way down in the P9. But we gain time, we gain positions and we're now up at the P8 at the moment as we try and see if we can go past both of these drivers in front. They're side by side so it's going to be a bit tough but a better traction zone should put us around the outside of the car of George Russell and that ladies and gents is P7 then from P11 on the grid the P7 in the first oh! oh my god as we just about get out of the way over the car Piastri Gasly had a big moment there completely lost the car I believe and then he had to get back on the track but we have no damage whatsoever the the flipping focus the flipping uh, reflex right there was on point we're now up at the p6 then as we're trying to close in once again to the card in front oh my goodness all right we need to go for the move straight away as we go on the move on pierre gasly here we go then up at the p5 we go we have to do it otherwise we are going to be losing time to compare to the front driver and we can already see we are losing time on the front drivers it's a ferrari one two at the moment and they seem like they're at their home grand prix but it is not so hopefully we can go and put some uh, water in the fire give them the water in the fire as we've used all the deploy mode on this lap already we're gonna try to stay close here or get closer because we need to get within that one second mark a warm walking window in the meantime for those of you who are joining in the lap two at a 29 of the australian grand prix in our Alpine F1 driver Road to Glory career. Remember, we are not creating a stream, we are creating a show. Yo, so chill back, relax, and enjoy. And hit that follow button if you have not yet. But here we go. Verstappen is quick, trying to close in once again. 1.2 seconds. We need to make sure we put that gap down to about 0.8 or whatever. But we can't because they're super quick in a straight line. Oh my goodness, and we have almost no battery anymore. Come on now, Tom. Oh, watch out oh we get a warning great absolutely amazing i'm trying so hard to stay close here but they are rapid oh as we're starting to lose the car already on the rears oh my goodness and we, we don't really have a very great turn in either it seems like we're struggling a bit more around the australian grand prix track likewise with our teammate pierre Gasly also struggling a little bit right here Charles clear with the fastest lap then in the meantime and now we're stepping with the fastest lap at 119.1 so we are close to the fastest driver on the grid but we're not quick enough come on now 
1.2, Piastri, one second. Oi, 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 oi. What do you think, ladies and gents? Can we close in this pack? It's looking a bit tough at the point, at this point in time. Because it was really good pace. I had to burn that ERS, otherwise we're gonna be gone anyway. Once again, burn it, burn it, burn it. You know the song, burn baby burn, that's the ERS right now. Oi, 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 they're too, too quick for me. They're too quick for us. 1.5 seconds now. As we almost lose the car once again. 1.4, 1.5. All right, they're battling though, they're battling, they're battling, they're battling. It seems like this race, we are lacking a little bit of pace compared to the top of the field. Which is weird, because normally we should be one of the quicker cars, but I think, I mean, it's the same with our teammate. It is the same with our teammate. As we're closing in now, 0.9, gave me the flip in the arrest, man. No DRS yet, no DRS yet. Oh yeah, you're right, they are on the soft tires, guys. We are on the mediums. That is something I have not noticed yet. But you're absolutely correct. We are on the harder tires compared to those cars in front. So they should have way more pace compared to us right now. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Oh, my goodness. It is tough to keep it in one piece. G Magustero. Thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. As now Russell or Piastri behind is trying to close in enough to get that... Uh, once again, we, we lose out on, on the DRS, guys. I can't believe it. By half a tenth of a second. And look how much time we lose. Over five tenths now. Yeah, I think Piastri might go for the move here. You know what? I'll, I'll let him do it. I'll let him do it. Because if he doesn't, I don't think we're going to be able to close in. Piastri goes for the move up at the P5 then. And I hope he closes in now to the cars in front. He's got clean air, though. And the softs. Behind of us, though, Gasly also on the mediums. This might be very good for us. If they all battle, right? If they all keep battling, this might be very good for us later on in the race. Now we got DRS. Come on. And we will have DRS for the next section as well. As we've got a big battle in front. Into turn one. That's going to lose him some time on the exit. Yep, there you go. Nori is very slow. And Piastri might even go for the move here. Piastri with a good exit is going to go for the move. No, nope, he is not. He's going to stay behind. Maybe we are going to go for the move. Nope, we're also going to stay behind. And now we're back in the pack, ladies and gents. Back in the pack. What do you reckon, guys? On pure pace, do we have enough pace to be able to fight for the win here? Yes or no? What do you think? I mean, obviously, pure pace means the same tire, same everything, right? At the moment, we're on medium. So we're basically a little bit disadvantaged. I feel like they're quick on the straight. But, oh, there you go then. Russell goes for the move as well. I think we need to be patient. I think we need to be patient. We need to wait for a moment when our tires are starting to get better. Oi, 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 oi. Uh, Delhi Sandwich, the bar. I think we're follow as well. What's up? Welcome to the family. Good to have you here. Not much difference from first place. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we are in lap 5 out of 29 already. But Charles Leclerc is almost dominating at the moment. He is driving away now. But we're luckily still in the pack. We are luckily still in the pack. All right, what is our tire? Saying at the moment. Oh my goodness! What is this tire wear? 22% in lap 6. Pit stop information, pit stop information. You've got two stops remaining now. Two stops remaining in this strategy. You've got four laps until your pit window opens. Four laps until our pit window opens, guys. So in lap 10, they want us to pit. I think that's very smart because... I mean, these medium tires are, are wearing down big time. <clears throat> Absolutely big time. All right, come on. He won P2, we're driving away. I think we should literally just stay in the pack here. I think that's the most smart thing to do. And maybe if we can go for an overtake, if it doesn't hurt us too much, then, then we can do it, right? As we get close to these drivers, Sainz is now fighting hard with the car of Norris. We have a better traction zone here on the car of Piastri, so we can get him back. Here we go then, and we're back into P5. 
five now. I think we're getting to the point where our tires are getting better than their softs. But we're also getting to the point where our tires are getting 25% on the, on, on the wear. And that means it's the cutoff point between are they still drivable and when do they become very tough to maintain. In a straight line, in the corners. There we go. They're getting very, very slippery now. Very, very slippery tires. Oscar Piastri remains closed. We have a little bit of a uh, gap now to the car of Russell. And Norris is the leader of this pack, so we're fighting for a podium at this point in time. And those who are in P1 and P2 are a bit further away. Which is going to be tough to close in because on pure pace it will be tough, I think. Look at the gap they have at the moment. Look at the gap. We have a bit of a battery build up though as we try and see if we can close in to the car of Carlos Sainz. He is a bit slower and was straight as we've got that DRS boost. Now though, on the outside, that should be the move done. And yes, it is. It is P4 then. And now we're coming back through the field, slowly but surely. Come on now. All right, next up, Norris. Let's stay behind for the moment. And let me know in the chat when you think we should pit. Pit stop information, pit stop information. Right, what do you think, guys? When do we pit? Two more stops Your pit window is going to open in three laps time. Three laps pit time. They're telling us lap 10, but what do you think? So 10 laps, 10 laps, and then... Or 10 laps, 11 laps, and then... Right? About 10 laps on the softs, or mediums. Do you guys think lap 12, lap 11? I think lap 11, actually. No, didn't they want us to go lap 11? No, lap 11 for the next pit stop, I believe. Yeah, these guys ahead must be doing a two stop as well, right? Driver in front, driver in front. Ahead of you now. Less than a One stop or two stop. You. Okay, they're on old stop. Okay, their tires are seven laps old. Oh, a bit so wide, a bit wide. Stop. One more stop! One minute, 20.9. This is great stuff. We're gaining by three tenths a lap. Bruh! One more stop for Lando Norris, guys. Hard to the end instead, you think? Do you think we should do a hard to the end? A one stop. They're all doing a one stop as well. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, Lando Reese is an issue. Lando Reese goes deep, locks up the tire, and now... Oh my goodness, that was the moment, but we had a little bit of a moment on our rear as well. I tried to go for the move. We went for the move there, but the rear was very unstable. Couldn't keep it in one piece. And now we lose even more time to the card in P1 and P2. Oi, 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 oi. Welcome to the family. What's good to you? Absolute legend. Hi, everyone. Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. As Shintai comes in with a gifted sub. Baddie boy. Was he begging for subs again? Oh, he does it always. He does that always. Oi, 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 oi. Thank you so much, Shintai, for another gifted sub. That is 62 this week. Insane. In flip insane. Too flippin' kind, man. You can extend a little bit more with the mediums. I think, I guess we can, but... If we go hard, we should go around... It's about 29 laps, so if we put that in half, it's about 15 laps. So we would have to go to lap 14 or something. What do you think? Should we go in hearts? That might be better, actually. That might be better. But we don't have the opportunity to get P1 and P2. So it's either hearts and consolidate for about, like, this position, P3... Or goes medium, medium. Oh, again! Again, Lennon Reese loses the car. Oh my goodness, watch out. Yeah, we're struggling now. I think we need to keep that tire wear low, guys. Because if we keep it... if we, uh, I think hard tires won't be good. We need to keep that tire wear low. They want us to go into the pits this lap, guys. Do we do it? I think we should. The older the tires, the more we're going to go and lose the car. Every single lap. As we go into third gear. Now trying to drive away from Norris and Piastri, who are battling hard. They are battling hard. And they're losing a lot of time. 1.5 seconds here. 1.6 even. That's what we need, Debbie. Okay, gap ahead is... All right, seconds. I think we need to do that undercut. What do you think? How are the soft still holding on? That's a great question. I have no flipping clue. 
ESP Captain, as well as uh, Norby on Twitch, Tristan Picerno. Uh, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. As we go into six here, it might be time to pit this lap. Let me know. What do you reckon? Box? All right, let's do it. Okay, Box! No can can, can you can I, can stop talking? Box this lap. Box this lap. Confirmed. We are pitting this lap and this lap only. This thank you very much. We are pitting now. More battles behind will help us as we get through the grid later on. They will be holding up everybody. But as you can see, we are going all over the place right now. All over the place. Come on now. Ooh, as we go close to the wall. <gasps> We're fine. We went a bit quick there, but it's just about fine. Here we go then. It's medium tires once again. And with these new mediums, we're going to be absolutely okay, rapid. We haven't had a single mistake in a pit stop as well in a long, long time. Gary is killing it. Come on now. We're coming out in P14 with those brand new tires. Which is right behind. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, Sergeant. Hello, there. You have to. Take care. I can't disappear as we go on the inside of the car of Sergeant. Come on, come on. We've got a lot of spare Let Gary okay cook, my man. Ocon and Ricardo are up next. Ocon in a good position right here for that Williams, but they are on all tires, so we need to say bye, 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 bye. See you in the next afterlife. Come on. Super Max Max is with a Spectre. Briga. Take with a follow as well. What's up? All right, let's go. Um, Let's, let's see if we can get by on this next trade of both of the drivers. Get a very good exit. There you go. Very good exit. Come on. Okay. Get a better traction zone. Bottas okay, has down. an issue, apparently. Kind of Maybe go up the inside of Ricardo. No, it doesn't, it's not going to happen yet. But we will go up the inside of the car of all West of Anacorn. Maybe on the inside here then. Uh, we're looking, but he closes the door. He closes the door. You know what? We will stay behind. And then we're going to get the DRS on the two next trades. That is very important. But look at how slow... How flippin' slow Daniel Ricciardo is. However, straight away on the exit, we get that launch. And we overtake him already before the braking zone. And now we have another DRS zone. Because there's only one DRS detection point for those two DRS zones. Which is great. Come on. As we go into third gear. Next two cars we have to overtake are Tsunoda and Magnussen. But we know how hard it is to overtake Magnussen. He is very, very uh, defensive normally. So let's see what we can do. We are purple of anybody out on track. And this means we can go for the undercut on the Red Bull, on the Ferrari. We've got the pace, ladies and gents. We've got the pace. Giazza. Take with a follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. Good to have you here. If you haven't yet followed and you're thinking, wow, Tom, you are so sexy. Make sure you hit that follow button. You do not want to miss out on any of the future shows. Okay. You do not want to miss out whatsoever. Because if you do, you're going to come back in a year's time. You'll tell me, Tom, I missed out on a year of fun. What have I done? I know. You should have listened. Yep. You should have listened. All right, we've got two drivers in front. Let's get rid of one of them. On this next exit. Oh, actually, they are getting rid of themselves. Because Sunoda gets in the pits. And now, well, I would have rather had Magazine in the pits. Because he is tougher to overtake. Boom! Fastest lap ever Steppen comes out onto the track then. Just about in front of us. So if we overtake Magnussen right here with the DRS. Which he doesn't let us do it. Come on! Give us the position, man! We might be able to get close to Verstappen here. Oh man, we lose so much time because of Magnussen. Once again he shows why he is a good defense for his teammate. Like he did in uh, Saudi Arabia. All right, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.3. Come on, get closer, Tom, get closer. To Max Verstappen, who still has old or cold tires, I mean. Verstappen going to the end. Driver in front, driver in front. Driver in front, driver in front. There's no way. There's no way. There is, yes, way. He is going to the end. What the flip is this? And he's flipping rapid right now as well. What? How is that even possible? A lot of people pitting at the moment. A lot of people pitting. 
They are gonna come up behind us. We're up at the PC with the false slap, but Verstappen is gonna take it easily, I think. 1.2 again. Kaboom! It's possible. We cannot go to the end. We are gonna go into the soft tire towards the end. Ah, oh, mid wide, mid wide, mid wide. I hope Verstappen gets held up here with Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg can also be a good defense. Come on. Be the defense that we need right now, Hulkenberg. 1.0, 1.08. Ah, there you go. Verstappen is already going to go for the overtake. Please hold him up! Oh, he's holding him up! He's holding him up! Come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just about. We still don't have the DRS. It's so close though, man. Hulkenberg goes into the pits right now and he gives us DRS. That would be the ideal scenario. Ah, oh, he keeps going. He keeps going and Verstappen drives off into the sunset. Luckily, Hulkenberg has DRS as well. Leclerc comes out behind of us with a brand new tires. All right, come on, DRS. Oh, Hulkenberg also has DRS. No, no, no. I think Verstappen is going, ladies and gents. As we go around the other side of the car, oval of Nico Hulkenberg, Verstappen is 2.2 seconds away. And I think that's going to be too tough to, to close in again. But we're in P2 right now, basically. But Leclerc's going to the end with the hearts. And we are doing another pit stop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What is the difficulty? It is 105 inch. 105. Oh, here we go. Of course, Hulkenberg is going to go for a re-overtake. What are you doing? From the older tires, bro. A Roto, as well as Mayday Boy, as well as Eng. Take a bit of follow as well. What's up? Welcome in. As here he goes, Charles Leclerc goes for the overtake for P3. And he's going to close into us soon. He is going to close into us soon. I forgot how good career mode upgrades are. Yeah, the ERS is very happy. Very happy. For the entirety of the race. The ERS is not going to be crying anymore. 3.6 now to Verstappen. Wow, I think this race is one of the races where we probably have to do a bit of damage limitation by trying to see what we can get out of this race still in terms of points because they are rapid. But we're also on a different strategy. We are on that two stop. They are on that one stop, right? But then in that case, they should probably be slower right now, right? Well, no, they are not. But we should be quicker towards the end. That is a fact. That is a fact. Here he is, though. Charles Leclerc goes for the overtake, I think. Oh, I'm going to use the battery. I'm going to keep him behind for as long as possible. We don't want him. Well, to be honest, we do want him to fight battle with Verstappen. We don't want him to overtake us. That is a fact. We are going to keep it on the inside with Leclerc on the outside. Here he comes again. The RS opens up for him, and there he goes, man. Jeez, he's quick. Okay, we've lost a position. That's on those hard tires, pace. too. All right, let's stay close. Maybe re-overtake him. Come on now. Bro, he's so rapid. But we should have the DRS. Come on. We need, need to make up 25 seconds on soaps. Well, well, well. I mean, we're driving away now from the midfield, so that's good. I think we're fighting for a podium here, guys. We are 4.4 seconds away from Norris, so if Leclerc can tag us along and get us closer to Verstappen and away from Norris, that would be great. But here we go then, we have an opportunity to go for the move again on Charles Leclerc. And because we're on the inside for the next turn, we can just about phase him out. And that means we are back into P2. It's not over yet, ladies and gents, it's not over yet, come on. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, when are we pitting though? Pit stop information, pit stop information. You only have to stop once now. One stop left. I'm thinking lap 22, guys. What do you think? I I'm thinking lap 22. What do you think? Let me know. Oh, Esteban Ocon is out of the session, Dan. Esteban Ocon has retired. He's the first retiree of the Australian Grand Prix. And there's no safety car at the moment. 
No safety car. Interesting. We can still catch up to Max. I think that one will be tough. He is very, very, very quick at the moment. But we will be able to fight here with Charles Leclerc, I think. At least for now, because the tires are close to 25%. Yep, they are almost there. Almost there. And that means when we reach 25, the car will be a lot slower than it was before. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come on. Here is the yellow flag. I want to go for the move, though. I want to go for the move, but we can't. Because Esteban Ocon is there. Green flag. Well, then stay close. Then stay close. And maybe do it here. Oh, what a beautiful race at the moment. We are struggling a bit, but we are keeping the pace up. Seven seconds to sign. That is crucial. Norris is quick, but that's okay. Still fighting for the podium. As now the DRS opens up and the car of Charles Leclerc is going to go to the right-hand side as he almost shunned into the wall. We had to move to the right, but it was in a left-hand turn. So we got super wide there. But we're back in the P2 at the moment. Okay, Have we had work. any safety cars this season? No, not yet, guys. Not yet. No safety cars yet. All right. I think Charles Leclerc might have to... I don't, I don't think this is a good strategy for us. Being in front in the DRS detection point might not be a great strategy for us because that's exactly what we had last time out when we got overtaken by Verstappen and look how close Mr. Shaw Leclerc is already here let's stay in front of him on this straight and next straight he might get us okay, we're, approaching the pit window. You're gonna we're close to pitting guys we're in a really good spot here I thought we were way slower I mean we are way slower but we, we are keeping the pace up very nicely as Charles Leclerc tries to go for the move, and he will. Wait, what's happening? Wait, 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 what's happening? Gearbox 80%. No! You're pushing too hard. It's causing your gearbox to take increased wear. Just be careful. Engine failure! And ladies and gentlemen, that means we're out! Out of the Australian Grand Prix! We literally upgraded the flipping gearbox! Oh, once again, the engine failure is here to challenge us in this championship. We have to keep improving the reliability. We tried, but the, re the regulation changes got rid of all the upgrades we've done and we did zero but the team did more upgrades on the reliability and that means now we're gonna have zero points who is gonna win if it's Sergio Perez I swear I'm gonna go crazy if it's uh, it must be Mac Verstappen yeah it's Mac Verstappen Mac Verstappen wins it looks like George Russell gets P2 or P3 and Charles Leclerc gets no Charles Leclerc gets P2 George Russell P3 and I think we've lost the championship at this point, right? Or at least not lost it, but we uh, the championship lead. See Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The gearbox has blown up. And we are going to be... And after this round of the World Championship... It must be that we're like P2 or P3 at this point. Uh, Sergio Perez, most importantly, has only scored four points. Our teammate once again. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got the pace. He's one of the quickest cars, yet he finishes P9. Carlos Sainz is P10, doing that two-stop. I think the two-stop would not have worked because Carlos Sainz got P10. So anyway, if we get a engine blowout or a gearbox blowout, then have it happen at this race because this race was... Not the best for us. We, we saw the pace already qualifying P11. We need to change out the engine and we need to make sure that for the next episode of the F1 Road to Glory career, we have no flipping engine failures, man. Come on! Because the next one will be China. And then, of course, after that, we will have Azerbaijan. Oh la la, Azerbaijan. That will be tough. Alrighty then, ladies and gents, we end up P3 in the championship after this race. 44 points, Sergio Perez 47 and Max Verstappen 50. He is now the leader of the championship. We've dropped down to P3 in the constructors because our teammate is not helping in this championship. He's getting pole positions every single race. Yet he can't score points. He's only scored 10. 
Do you stream every day? Uh, I'm live tomorrow and the day after, but I don't stream every day. Make sure you join the Discord to know when we go live. Because over there, I put the entirety of the schedule. I'm going to probably schedule today the whole schedule for next week uh, as well. Uh, this is unfortunately the last episode of the F1 Road to Glory Alpine driver career of this week. But don't fret. Don't fret. Next week, we will be back. And if you want to know how it continues, then you better be there from the very beginning. And I want to know from you in the chat at the moment, how epic was today's show? If you don't put a number 11, you're absolutely banned.